Today is Veterans Day, a day set aside for us to honor those who have served our country. But for some rare and wonderful people, every day is a day to do just that. We're talking about a small group of volunteer men and women who have greeted the nearly million soldiers who've arrived and departed from a small airport in Maine. Their incredible and inspirational story is the focus of a new documentary called The Way We Get By. It premieres tonight on PBS, and we're joined by its director, Aaron Gaudet. Good morning. Good morning. I have to say, this is such a moving piece of work because it really shows the humanity and the beauty of these elderly people who, yeah. who uh, greet these soldiers. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think they're kind of a group that normally doesn't maybe have a voice out there. You know, I think they retire and... Uh, you kind of lose your identity a little when you retire, and I think sometimes uh, it, it's it's a group that doesn't always get uh, to be heard. So I, I think it was special to give them that chance to kind of be heard by people, and they have so many great things to say. You know, they've they've lived very full lives and have a lot of wisdom to pass on. So and it's amazing because this format POV point of view, it's from yeah. their point of view. So we hear them throughout, um, and yeah. one of the greeters uh, who. They, just to explain, they're at the airport in Bangor, Maine, right. and they greet all these soldiers who come home. One of them said, I saw what happened in Vietnam. I don't want this to happen again to our soldiers. Right. That's kind of why they formed to begin with was, you know, World War II veterans would watch what happened when the Vietnam vets came back and there was nobody to greet them. And that's why they formed the group to just kind of be there and be that first line as soon as they touch down on U.S. soil, recognize them as veterans, thank them for what they're doing. and makes a big difference having somebody there as soon as they, they come back to the U.S. It's a great story how you got involved in this project. Tell us. Yeah, so well, my mom is, uh, is a main troop greeter and uh, she goes to the airport day and night. She's on call 24-7, <laughs> 365 <laughs> days a year. And uh, when she started, you know, I would call to check in on her a lot. You know, she had retired and she was in her 70s and she would always be home and then suddenly she was never at home. And, you know, I would call at 11 o'clock at night or 12 o'clock at night and she still wouldn't answer. And I would call my brothers and sisters and say, you know, where's mom? And yeah. they said, you know, she goes to the airport and greets troops. And it, it didn't really register with me until I went home for Christmas and went with her to a flight. and. It's just uh, it's really emotional, it really kind of grabbed me and seemed like a story worth telling. And this program is so incredible because not only is it wonderful for the soldiers who are coming home to see people waiting for them, yeah. but also in turn it's great for your mom and the other greeters, it changed yeah. her life. Yeah, it gives their life such purpose and you know I think a lot of times, like I said, you retire and you're looking for something, you feel like you're not providing something to the community and I think a lot of times they feel marginalized. So. For them, it gives them this, you know, suddenly they have this great purpose in their community and they're providing this critical service that there's this ripple effect, you know, it, it not only touches all the troops, but all their families all across the country call them, email them, send us messages saying, you know, thank, you know, tell them thank you for being there for my loved one when they went through. So it's not just the troops that, that appreciate it, it's all the families at home as well. One thing very interesting that this touches on is, and, and a very serious subject, is the mortality. Not only yeah. of the soldiers who, we see them coming back in the airport, they're looking at a wall of the fallen to see their fellow comrades who yeah. have been, who've been killed, but also the mortality of the greeters. And actually, let's take a, a listen to right. um, a piece of the, the video. Okay, yeah. My life don't, don't mean a hell of a lot to me, but if I can make it mean something for somebody else, that's my endeavor. Why, why do you say your life doesn't mean anything to you? Well, I have nothing, really nothing to live for other than what I do for other people. Uh, I've out, outlived my usefulness as far as individually. I think that, uh, you know, by helping other people puts a little meaning back into my life, you know. That's, at least that's what I hope is doing. And so, Aaron, we see Bill talking there about such yeah. heavy stuff and so meaningful to him. Yeah, I mean, that was definitely one of the darker days, one of the more emotional days we spent with him. And, you know, one of the most rewarding things about making the film is we've been able to take Bill and the other two subjects on the road with the film. 
And Bill doesn't walk into a theater or into a room following the movie without getting a standing ovation. Wow. And people come up and hug him and ask for his autograph and say how much he moved them. And I think that's really, to see the movie come back around and give him that lift because it, he realized that he hasn't outlived his usefulness and he really does have a lot to offer. So it's been, that's been the most rewarding part about, about the movie, seeing that lift that it's given Bill. That's great. Well, Aaron Gaudet, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. We really appreciate it. And again, the documentary is called The Way We Get By. It premieres tonight on PBS. Make sure to check your local listings for the exact time. <laughs> Oh, ha, ha, ha. Open it up.